Hey guys, so I work with middle school kids, um, I work with teenagers, and one of the big things that I have to teach them over and over again is something that I see in the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs says, walk with the wise and become wise, but a, a companion of fools suffer harm. And I have to tell them, and I tell them very plainly, like, look, if you walk with the wise, you will become wise. Like, that's plain and simple there. You walk with them, you become them. That's who you become. But it doesn't say that if you walk with a fool, that you become a fool. And that's eye-popping, right? Because you think, oh, well, if I walk with... Because you think, hey, oh, well, you're calling me this, or you're... T like, I get all kinds of stuff from kids, and I'm like, no, 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 no. It says that if you are a companion of fools you will suffer harm. And I've had so many meetings with parents and with kids, and I have to explain to them again and again, like, look, your your kid is a good kid, but they're choosing the wrong people to be around. And because of that choice, they are suffering harm. They're getting in trouble, not because of them being a bad kid, but because of the people that they choose to be around. And with that, sometimes the light clicks, sometimes it doesn't. I've had kids that I've, you know, like taught and I've looked and on <laughs> at the uh, um, at the news and then I see the kids and they're there on the news because they've done something awful. And some of those kids, yeah, you can look at them and be like, yeah, I, I, sadly I would expect that kid. But I can tell you that there was one kid that I, every time that we met with the parent and tried to talk about how... This kid was making bad decisions because he was hanging around the wrong people. I was always told that no, there's no way because he sings in the choir every Sunday at church and he knows better and he is one day going to be a preacher. And still to this day, that could be true. But that was one of the kids that I see, you know, like at the detention center, you know, on the news. I am not trying to discourage you I'm trying to encourage you if it doesn't matter it doesn't say when it doesn't say what part of your life as soon as you decide to turn and walk with the wise you become wise you're becoming wiser just by making that decision but whenever you do that it doesn't have an age description right it doesn't have a limitation to it walk with the wise and become wise but if you're gonna choose to be a companion of fools, you will suffer harm. Bad things will come. Not because you do anything bad necessarily, but because you're going to suffer harm. So, that being said, who are you around? What are you choosing to fill your life with? What kind of people are there for you? And I might as well try this. Try it in the comment below. You know, like, where is the balance between this? Like, if we're supposed to be the light of the world, how do we balance the idea that, you know, like, hey, we shouldn't be a companion of fools, but we're also supposed to be evangelizing and talking to people. So in the comments below, what do you think? So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see how that works. Thanks for taking a minute.